Go uh, no, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. You, you know, actually, you go first because i got to find my question again. I forgot where I put it. Well, Congressman, did you uh, have the opportunity to see what uh, Special Counsel Mueller said this morning? Any reaction to that? You know what? I, I did not. I did see that uh, he made a statement that said that uh, he does not want to speak anymore on this. I think we got to respect his view on that um, and his decision to do that. Uh, where would you like to see the conversation about this go from here? Well, listen, I think there was a narrative built over the last two years by particularly the Democrats and others in the media that let's wait for the Mueller report to come out. And we got to remember with the Mueller report, we had you know, almost $40 million spent, 2,800 subpoenas, 500 search warrants. Um, we had about 20 federal prosecutors working on this full time. We had an active grand jury. And we got the summary of that. And the summary was there was um, no collusion between the Trump campaign uh, and Russia. Secondly, there was no charges brought on obstruction of justice. So um, I know that's not the narrative that maybe the Democrats wanted, but we need to move on. Uh, we need to move on from the Mueller report. We have many important things that we should be focused on in this country. And frankly, um, I think the Democrats are chasing ghosts that don't exist there. And the fact that Mueller doesn't want to testify on this, that let, he lets his report speak for himself, I think we need to move on. And as a former federal prosecutor, I was someone that supported Bob Mueller, told him his investigation ought to go on the way that he intended it to. But now that we have the conclusion, we have the result, we have to move on. Uh, what do you make of the graduated income tax that's going through the state house? Well, I, I'm, I'm frustrated on what, we continue to drive people out of the state of Illinois. We continue to hemorrhage jobs, people, and opportunities. And when I look at the Pritzker administration, what they're doing on minimum wage, what they're doing on a progressive income tax, what they're doing on uh, the abortion issue, and what they're doing on restricting gun rights, they continue to drive people out of the state. We're going to lose possibly two congressional districts. Uh, and it's because of the policies that are dominated by Chicago that are hurting uh, communities downstate, and I see that every single day, and so it's uh, it's frustrating. Um, are you concerned at all about the wave of abortion bills going through state legislatures right now? I'm concerned about the one that passed in Illinois last night. I don't think that's reflective of the district that I represent or people downstate. Uh, abortion on demand, infanticide, is not what people in my district agree to, agree on. All right, um, so what do you think about Supreme Court justices being confirmed in an election year? Obama said no to it and Trump might do it. What do you think on that? Well, I think we're getting uh, ahead of ourselves. Uh, that, that is not the case right now. We'll see what happens. Um, currently, we have a full slate of the U.S. Supreme Court with nine justices. Um, and if and when there is an opening, depending on when that occurs, uh, we'll assess that when that happens. Video? Okay, thanks very much. All right, thanks, thanks. you guys.